way to kick the 2012 election into mm -hmm. high gear. The first contest, could you imagine it be this close? Any tighter, more surprising. The cover of the Des Moines Register says it all. Those eight votes were all that separated Mitt Romney and Rick Santorum after a final tally that, what was that, 245 a.m.? 2.45 a.m., the closest race ever in Iowa, also the largest turnout in Iowa history. There you see the final numbers right there. Only eight votes separate them. And this was a scramble, Robin. They actually had to wake up one county chairman in the middle of the night to get the final precinct. What do you mean they had to wake she her had up? She had gone home, and there was a mistake. She had gone home. They had to get her. They did, though. Romney and Santorum up at the top, followed by Ron Paul, Newt Gingrich, Rick Perry, and Michelle Bach. Of course, the next big contest, mm -hmm. the next big debate Saturday night in New Hampshire. Newt Gingrich is already there. Romney and Santorum head there later today. As for Rick Perry, he is packing his bags, going home to Texas for now. Mm -hmm. Hasn't made a full commitment, saying he's going to think things over. Our entire ABC News political team has been up all night tracking the results and what they mean for the presidential race. So let's get right to senior White House correspondent Jake Tapper. Drinking that Red Bull. He's been up all <laughs> night there in Iowa. Good morning, Jake. Good morning, Robin. An unbelievably exciting photo finish. The editors of the Des Moines Register originally planned on this front page. It's a split decision. Then they yelled, stop the presses, and actually changed it to the paper you showed later, saying Romney by eight votes. Of course, the split decision is really the message, and that causes some real questions for Romney and whether he has a ceiling and is a weak front runner, and it provides a huge boost for a previously unknown candidate, Rick Santorum. Rick Santorum had two words last night. Game on. Santorum ultimately did not win, but his near upset, almost victory, shocked the political world and made him the latest conservative alternative to Mitt Romney. Thank you so much, Iowa. You have taken the first step of taking back this country. The two-term Pennsylvania senator came so close with hard work visiting each of Iowa's 99 counties. How are you? Romney won, but the fact that this was such a struggle, even with his advantages with money, infrastructure, and endorsements, raised questions about a major enthusiasm gap. Last night, Romney delivered a fairly standard stump speech. This election is bigger even than jobs and a strong economy. It's really an election about the soul of America. In third place, buoyed by a surge of independent voters, Ron Paul. Let's go back to this real old-fashioned idea, this very dangerous idea. Let's obey the Constitution. It was a night that had a bitter taste for some. Once the frontrunner here, Newt Gingrich, finished fourth, angry about millions of dollars in negative ads against him from Romney and Romney supporters. We are not going to go out and run nasty ads. We're not going to go out and run 30-second gotcha ads. We're not... But I do reserve the right to tell the truth. Gingrich's first jab comes in the form of this newspaper ad in New Hampshire's union leader, calling Romney a timid Massachusetts moderate. And Romney has a huge, perhaps insurmountable lead in New Hampshire. Latest polling show, shows he has 47% of the vote. The next closest is Ron Paul with 17%, 30 points back. And Mitt Romney is going to have a big endorsement today. John McCain, the man who beat him in the New Hampshire primary four years ago and also won the New Hampshire primary in 2000. A big New Hampshire endorsement. George.